Within this lesson, we're going to create story context for numerical expressions and tape diagrams and solve word problems. Miss Hayes has half a liter of juice. She distributes it equally to six students in her tutoring group. How many liters of juice does each student get? Let's draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. That's equal to one. Make it into a half. And then three, four, five, six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six parts. Divided by six, which makes each of these one twelfth. We have one half liter divided by six, which equals one half divided by six, which equals six twelfths. Six twelfths divided by six, which equals one twelfth. Each student. gets one twelfth liters of juice. How many more liters of juice will Miss Hayes need if she wants to give each of her 24 students in her class the same amount of juice found in Part A? In Part A, we found out the amount of juice that we wanted was one twelfth of a liter. So we need 24 times one twelfth then. And so if we take twenty-four times one twelfth of a liter, we can cancel. Twelve becomes a one, twenty-four becomes a two, so that we would need two liters of juice. Needed. 24 students, but she has some juice already. She has half a liter of juice, so we still have to take two liters and subtract a half a liter of juice. Remember, she started with a half a liter of juice. She will need, which is one and a half liters, she will need one and one half liters more of juice. Lucia has three and a half hours left in her workday as a car mechanic. Lucia needs half of an hour to complete one oil change. How many oil changes can Lucia complete during the rest of her workday? So we take three and a half, and we're dividing it by a half. So rewrite that as three and one half divided by one half. Let's draw a tape diagram to represent that. So that's a three and one half, and then divide it into halves. So we have one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves. There's six halves and three, seven halves. So that there are seven halves. And three and one half. So she can complete seven oil changes. In the remainder of her work day. Lucia can complete two car inspections in the same amount of time it takes her to complete one oil change. How long does it take her to complete one car inspection? So one oil change was one half of an hour. So we're taking one half and we're dividing it by two, which we get one fourth. You can draw a tape diagram to represent that problem as well. Here's one, there's one half, and then half of a half is one fourth. She can complete one car inspection in one quarter of an hour.
How many inspections can she complete in the rest of her workday? Remember, the rest of her workday was three and a half hours. And each inspection from our previous problem took one quarter of an hour. So we're trying to think how many one quarter hours are there in three and a half hours. So we take three and a half and divide it by one fourth. That's equal to three and two fourths divided by one fourth. There are twelve fourths and three. There are two fourths in two fourths. There are fourteen fourths then. In three and two fourths. She can complete fourteen inspections. in three and three fourths, three and a half hours. Carlo buys $14.40 worth of grapefruit. Each grapefruit costs 80 cents. How many grapefruit does Carlo buy? Remember, we're taking $14.40 and dividing it by 80 cents. Let's write that out as a fraction. We can write it 14.4 divided by 0 0.8. Change that into a whole number in the denominator. Times 10 over 10 equals 144 over 8. A long division problem. 8 goes into 14 one whole time. 1 times 8 is 8. 14 minus 8 is 6. Bring down the 4. 64 divided by 8 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. And 64 minus 64 is 0. So we get 18. He can buy 18 grapefruit. At the same store, Hari spends one-third as much money as on grapefruit as Carlo. How many grapefruit does she buy? Carlo spent $14.40. So if we take $14.40... Divided by 3, we would get the third amount as much money on grapefruit as Carlo. So let's do that first. 3 goes into 14 four whole times. 4 times 3 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. Bring down the 4. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 0. And bring up our decimal point. $4.80 is how much that Kyrie spends. How many grapefruits does $4.80 buy? We take $4.80 and divide it by 80 cents. Which is 4.8 over 0 0.8. Multiply by 10 over 10. We get 48 over 8, which equals 6 grapefruits. So Kyrie buys six grapefruits, which is also a third of 18, the number that Carlo bought. We could have figured it out that way, too. Studies show that a typical giant hummingbird can flap its wings once in eight hundredths of a second. While flying for 7.2 seconds, how many times will a typical giant hummingbird flap its wings? So we're going to take 7.2 and divide it by 0 0.08. Let's write that out as a fraction. Right, 7.2 over 0 0.08. Let's change the denominator to a whole number by multiplying by 100 over 100. 7.2 times 100 is 720. 800 times 100 is 8. So we have 720 over 8. Do our long division we'll end up getting 90 as our answer.
giant hummingbird will flap its wing to 90 times. Take 90 times 4. 90 was the amount of for the giant hummingbird times 4, we get 360. So a ruby-throated hummingbird can flap its wings 360 times in 7.2 seconds. Make sure to write that out. Write out a complete sentence for it.